All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Black Ops 4 beta has been out for almost four days. I've had almost 30 hours put into the beta. Yeah, 30 hours, which is ridiculous. But that's how much I know left this game. But if I'm playing 30 hours of the beta, I think that's going to tell you uh, my opinion of the game. How is Call of Duty Black Ops 6? It's pretty good. I've been really enjoying my time there are some stuff I want to talk about. It is a beta, so it's not the full release of the game. I can't talk about everything, but you know, a lot of this stuff will be in the final game. So I'm just going to talk about it. The Black Ops series is probably my favorite Call of Duty series of all time. It, sh it just gave me so many memories. This game right here honestly makes me excited for Call of Duty again, and we'll get to why. Obviously, the new thing in Call of Duty and one of the reasons I want to wanted to play it besides it being on game pass is the omni movement now i will say that the dive is pro practically useless uh, i mean maybe later down the line we'll find more uses for this omni movement because it is new but for now the dive doesn't really have the best effect in gunfights but being able to run backwards and sideways and, and sliding in those directions changes the game completely you can outplay people uh by like faking them out i've seen some people get faked out but there is so much potential and it definitely widens the skill gap in call of duty so like the best of the best are going to be down up here and then you know like it, there's a skill gap way more than previous cards and for someone who plays apex and the movement the movement capability is there this is pretty exciting for me which leads me to the next point which is the gunplay now they had to make it a little bit higher in the time to kill because if they made it a short time to kill the movement would feel practically useless because you would just get beamed like that but there is one gun in the game the jackal pdw which absolutely just destroys everything it's a four shot kill smg at like short to medium range but compare that to the other weapons in the game the other weapons just feel like they have such a longer time to kill so if they nerf the pdw then it's definitely going to be more in line with what the actual time to kill is in the game and and of course they would do this activision i know y'all y'all put a skin or y'all put like a, a blueprint in the game for the pdw which absolutely changes the iron sights of it and makes it basically pay to win bro i picked it up and i got like five kills right after that just picking it up it's way better than the iron sights of the original jackal and you only get it if you pre-order the vault edition which is 130 dollars and no i'm not doing that so i'm just using the original iron sights but even then it's still pretty good but the thing with the jackal pdw when you pre-order it is it already has the best attachments in order to get the best attachments you're gonna have to level up your weapon which takes a really 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 long time in this game i it took me almost like five or six hours i don't know how long but it took me a while to level up the jackal all the way to max and i think the m4 goes all the way to level 55 and that took me way too long and i think there was double xp in there at some point so yeah it's gonna be a grind fest to level up these weapons maybe it's just like that in the beta the gunplay has been said that it feels like cold war it's just a little seeing cold war gameplay this looks like an updated cold war thankfully it still feels like black ops i can definitely feel that black ops in there now i can't really talk about the streaks or the perks or the field upgrades or the wild card perks just because i don't think everything is in the game yet i mean we're still missing like scavenger we're missing a ton of streaks and a ton of field upgrades from what i've seen i really like how the perk system is get the same color you get like an extra free perk that can give you significant buffs but that means you can't choose the perks that you want 
because you know you want that flag jacket you want that ghost you want that double time but they're all in different colors so you're really gonna have to think about it i don't know if i can talk about servers just because i i don't know how beta servers are but there was a lot of packet loss i feel like i was lagging a lot like uh, and maybe that's why the time to kill felt inconsistent for me sometimes i swear i'd be hitting the enemy with the amount of bullets it takes to kill them and then they just melt me like butter so i don't know what's going on there maybe it's just the beta servers but hopefully the servers are way better at launch because uh some uh, packet loss seeing packet loss every fucking five seconds is kind of annoying uh maps maps are okay we have skyline which i think is my favorite map for sure so far uh i just like the the layout of the map it's really simple there's uh the train map i'm not really a fan of that i do well like 25 percent of the time i don't know it's it just kind of has a weird layout for me but maybe uh, maybe i'm just not used to it and then there's the scrub map or whatever it is the with the open desert or the trenches and the the big radi the dish it's just so wide open uh and i i just don't like that map and then there's also like strike maps i think it's like 6v6 but like in a very small compact um two maps with no streaks i did not enjoy that uh it was just too hectic basically shipment without streaks but skyline for sure i think is my favorite and i hope there's better maps in the full release of the game but we'll just have to wait and see one thing i don't like is that there's no assist in the game so if you just put one bullet into a guy and if a teammate kills them it counts as an elimination so it just inflates kd like sometimes i'll have like a three kd but i feel like i don't deserve it because some of those kills were just not kills they were like one bullet and then my teammate finishes them and that leads me to the scoreboard it doesn't show kd you have to hover over each uh enemy to see how they're doing i don't know why it's like that they should put the kill death on the scoreboard and not having to hover i really like that they added customizable huds uh it was about damn time and you can definitely do a lot with them there is a lot of settings in cod which i realized and it actually helps a lot of people who have like who need accessibility options so shout out COD for doing that. Uh, I've noticed they've had that for a while, but Black Ops 6 has even more options. Meat Shield with proximity chat is one of the greatest things they've ever added in Call of Duty. I'm, I'm not lying. I love being able to use someone as a meat shield and talk shit while having them. Or, you know, uh, I'll take them to the Diddy party. Just, uh, just stuff like that like that is so man that shit is so dope gears of war had that idea where they you use them as a meat shield but they didn't have that voice proximity like call of duty has so shout out the people at Treyarch for adding that shit what a genius genius idea and uh y'all should be applauded for that thank you for adding hours and hours of content and uh yeah I've, I've been taken to a couple diddy parties myself and the final thing the soundtrack i mean i've only he heard one song it's the multiplayer song but that shit laps so overall the the call of duty black ops 6 beta i've been having a, a ton of fun uh sbmm is still there i'm versing the sweatiest players somehow i'm still having fun so i can't be mad so that is my opinions on the black ops 6 beta we're gonna have another beta in like two days because apparently it's gonna be an open beta this time which is exciting so yeah i'm out hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel i'm definitely gonna be uploading some black ops 6 when that shit comes out in like two months or a month anyways i'm out later